Happy pre-Saturday. It's the weekend, yes. I uh, get to try. I didn't know they made it. Tap Magic just for aluminum. I've been using regular Tap Magic. So it'll be interesting to see what it does. Uh, I saw it on A-Bomb79's channel. First up, just kind of a heads up. Everybody knows I bought the entire ER32 collet set. And I used the um, 3018 CNC machine to make the little rack that held, holds all the collets. So I had also mentioned in a previous video, I bought the entire 5C collet, collet set for the spin indexer. And so I am decided, you know, I don't like the little plastic cases that each one is individually in. So I was using the 3018 to make the rack on it. And since those collets are really tall, I've got a thick base. So I got to go down. I programmed it for 600 thousandths. So it takes quite a while to do 16 holes. After some six hours, I wanted to take a break from it. So uh, uh, the universal G-code sender allows you to override feed rates and spindle RPM, but you can only take the spindle down to 10 or, or 10, whatever it is, 10%, whatever. And the motor's still barely running. So I decided to pull the positive lead off the motor to stop it so I could take a break. Accidentally, the lead touched the motor body, a spark, the entire control board is dead now. So be very careful if you're going to do that. Um, I did find the board, finally, if you know what words to search for, I found it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. It's a $45 accident. So in this video, uh, I'm just going to share another great find. I love it. Uh, it's a collet block set. So I'll take you over to the bench and show it to you. This guy has been great. I mean, I bought it a long time ago to hold all the collets that I've got, the ER32s. But the problem is, I don't have the vise over here. This outside diameter is bigger than this. So when you stick it in the vise, and this is clamped down, uh, you don't have much surface here to square it up with. And you don't have much clamping force, because I've had things out here drilling it, and then I caught this thing tilting. So I've had to use my jack thing to support stuff. But I figured, since I bought all the 5C collets for the Spindexer, why not get the set? $50 Amazon free delivery. Let's see what it looks like. It is indeed heavy. Wow. Get rid of that. That's nice. <laughs> okay, well, they tape it up well. It's supposed to be in a carry case, which I'm sure is going to go away. Wow, that is pretty nice looking, huh? Uh, weird company. I forgot the name of it. It's unique name, Thornin or something crazy like that. Wow. Well, this didn't get damaged, huh? 5C collet block set. Let me open it. Oh, it flips up. Wow. Crazy. Did that get broken? No, it just wasn't. It's not sealing. Yeah, it does. All right. It just popped open for some reason. The box, uh, Probably the packaging. Wow, oily, I can tell. I should have worn my gloves. Well, I got a paper towel here, but, yeesh. And really nice foam. I didn't know what these rings were for. There's two of them. But let's see what this guy looks like. Square, because they're gonna have a lot more um, clamping capability here with this. Boy, they look really nice. Uh, yeah, they're definitely oiled. <laughs> they're supposed to be, oh, I forgot the number. I think it was flat to within, flat square and parallel to within a tenth or something crazy. Uh, we're gonna need another paper towel here. Stick it back on that bag. 
Okay, so you drag everything around. All right, defective paper towels are toughest at the perforations. It's ridiculous. All right, so we got a block. I'll be definitely putting this on the granite surface to check it out. Pretty crazy. Uh, it's almost, I can't tell what it doesn't look like it's ground, it looks like it's lapped. I mean, there's crazy finish. That's definitely, this has been lapped, man. That's how they got it that perfect. But, geez, crazy. Definitely nicely oiled. Another paper towel here. See, look at this stupid thing. Jeez. Ah, trash. So, <laughs> very interesting. The inside surface, I can't tell what that is either. <laughs> sort of ground, but doesn't really look like it. This face is the same thing, just sand marks all over it. Interesting. All right, well, there's one. Let's see what this guy is. What did I do with the razor blade? There it is. Yeah, I guess throw that on the ground too. Both of them pretty crazy nice. Especially if you want to keep the <laughs> protective case someplace in your shop if you got a cabinet. Wow, look at this. Same thing, just sand marks all over it. Gorgeous work, whatever it is. Yeah, just lapped, sanded something, I don't know. Uh, gonna be interesting to figure out what the rings are for. All right, so that's the collet side. That's the collet side. More trash. And razor again. I guess this side, guys, yeah, even oiled, huh? Yep, definitely oiled. Not a whole, yeah, a whole lot. I should have had a brought a collet out here before even turning the camera on, but to see how this works. So it's got. Yeah, that moves. Okay. So I don't know what those things are for. Good. Yep. It's smaller and it's smaller. So I don't have to worry about the vise where this is. So I should be able to stick this any place in the vise all the way back. All, I, was, I was worried if this was bigger, I'm going to have to be over here and this is going to be in the vise. So, pretty darn nice. Uh, be interesting to figure out what are these for. Huh. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Wow, nice and early on them. Jeez. Huh. Not too great a surface there, but um, the knurling is gorgeous on them. Wow, yeah, definitely good. Nah, yeah, it is. It's good. It's all good. All right, I guess I'll be playing around with this thing off camera. Oh, I wonder. Okay. It's got two holes. It's a bunch of holes. It's for a spanner. That goes on there, and you can turn this if you don't want this ugly handle. And lock your collet in that way. And they give you two, one for each guy, huh? Let me go get a collet to make sure what this is. <laughs> All right, 25 millimeter 5C collet. 
pull it out. There we go. Nice. Does it fit it? Yep, it should fit. Yep, it goes right in there. Wow, one, two, three, four holes. So this should go in here. Uh-oh, what happened? I'm hitting something. Oh, does it have this? Oh, that's what the set screw is for. This slot. So it doesn't turn. But why am I not going in? There it is. I'm just not... That is a tight fit, guys. Whoa. Friction fit. Let me tell you. Interesting. This is going to be fun. I kind of getting turned on to the 5C collets. Look at that. How far does it go? Oh, very tightened up. So, yeah, if I crank that handle, he's in there. Huh? Nice. Oh, yeah, you can push and pull on the handle here to seat it. Looking forward to playing with this when I actually have to build something. So, I think this is a very nice addition to the shop and I'm going to go over to the granite surface. Granite surface results. This block using the Mit Mitutoyo 10th indicator no needle movement going back and forth flipped it no needle movement all four sides perfect. The height of it measured it exactly the same within a tenth of a thousandth within a tenth of a thousandth this block was perfect um, the set screw here is machined for the slot in the um, collet and they messed up the threads on the set screw itself so I had to run it through a th re-threading die now it pokes in just enough the other guy was fine for the set screw reason that I really wanted to get this is because every time I try to use this guy to make um, a nut head a hex octal or whatever you want to call it uh, it's always off so there's something wrong with this guy I can never get it right you do it you cut here and then you do here and it's cutting deeper so uh, it's off and I always wind up playing with the z-axis so that's why I was hoping this guy is good. Granite surface, perfect. Exactly the same height, no movement, within a tenth of a thousandth. So this is gorgeous. I'm looking forward to using this guy. Again, the set screw worked on this one. It wasn't, they, evidently on the other one, when they cut this slot in it for a spade screwdriver, they mushroom things out, so... Um, this guy, one of them, this one was fine. Surface is acceptable and this side the surface is acceptable. This one, however, I don't know what happened, but it's like they used on half of it a one grit grinding wheel and you know, the surface was like an asphalt street. So I put it in the Chuck Spider and refinished it. Looks good. Figured out why they use this. If you want to put something long in there and it's going to poke out, you clamp it down with this. So I had put this guy in here with the 25 millimeter 5C collet, used this guy, and I was off by a thousandth. So I figured, let me just try this guy. Yeah, it was poking out pretty far. Which side? Yeah, that's the collet side here. And it does go into this a little bit. So it's not too bad. I was right here rotating this thing all the way around. It was within a tenth of a thousandth. So beautiful, beautiful. So I don't know whether, because uh, when I was turning it, it wasn't like wobbling I was taking even cuts going in two thousands at a time I did play with this on the 5c and it does have some play in the thread so I don't think 
this guy was affecting it because when I used this guy, I made sure, you know, this is clean, that's clean, the collet's clean, everything's clean. And then I got the within a tenth of a thousand. So might be something, only time will tell me whether I have to, because uh, I'm always going to be checking it on the granite first before I mill it. But let's see what happens. Great um, product. I'm thrilled with this. Put a link on Amazon. I think it's luck of the draw. They happen to have a good batch right now. $54.22. So um, this guy, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's got its place with stuff in it because I've also got the square one. So now I've got these two and a square one and that one. So I am extremely thrilled with this.